So um, I want to thank the mayor for my well-deserved fountain fine of uh, 450 euros. Um, certainly got caught up in the excitement. I think it was a great night for all of us in Rome. Um, but I also don't want to encourage other people to jump into fountains, um, except if they want to fix a fountain. So, you know, I've, I've uh, decided that I think it would be a great personal gesture to fix the fountain in front of the Pantheon, and so I'm going to donate 230,000 euros to it. And as I said, you know, trying not to encourage people, um, love this city, and um, if someone does want to jump in it, fix a fountain. Grazie. <laughs> nella fontana a meno che non vogliate contribuire in qualche modo al restauro delle sue fontane. Grazie. 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 Grazie that I thought that was a great pick for us. You know, I knew that most people in the world thought we would lose, and so we had nothing to lose, and I felt that we had a great chance. And doing what we did yesterday showed everybody what the team is made of and taking down somebody like Barcelona. And the team played 94 minutes of an incredible game. It wasn't like it was lucky. So, you know, I mean, I really don't care who we play. Um, I know that I think we can play against anybody, certainly with what we showed yesterday. So, you know, we draw what we draw on Friday and just looking forward to a couple more games. And I hope everyone in Rome is too. It's just, uh, it's a nice little ride. How did the team manage to change his attitude? Um, well, I think Di Francesco, you know, sometimes the team has some of these ups and downs, but I think the team should realize after yesterday that playing the way they can for 90 plus minutes shows that they can play against anybody. And I think what Di Francesco did in terms of the change of tactics was brilliant. I'm not sure that you know Barcelona came in expecting something like that. And up and down the line, every single player played great. I know Dzeko was man of the game, but you know a lot of what uh, Dzeko ended up doing was because of players like Sheik who were controlling the ball and controlling it and allowing Dzeko to have one-on-ones. And when he's one-on-one -on -one with anybody in the world, I think he can dominate them. And that's the type of stuff that was happening. So, great. Have a good one. See you in a couple of weeks. See you later. I'll see you at the next game. See you. Bye-bye.